Hi there, this is John Tate and we're going to look at the use of QR codes in education. I'm going to take you through how to create the codes, how to scan them and then some fantastic crowdsource ways in which to use them in your classroom. So, what are QR codes? QR codes, short for quick response codes, enable a user with a smartphone to scan the code and be immediately directed to a website or a piece of text. This is becoming increasingly popular with advertising and marketing companies and as we know is now coming into education. So, let's look at how we create a code. Okay, what you'll see here is I've opened Google, uh, you can open any search engine you like and what we're going to do is I've just searched here for QR code generator and you can use any of the any of these uh, websites here, you'll see they'll all come up with free, um, free tools. The one I've used is this first one here um, and if we just click on that one and it takes us to this website here. All I've done very simply is I've actually inputted my blog here, so my, the URL I wanted to uh, generate the code for in this box here. And what it does, once I've clicked generate the free QR code, it generates the QR code here. And this can then be saved as a JPEG. And once you've got it as an image, as a JPEG, you can then use it wherever you want, uh, in posters, in Word documents, um, and it, you know it, it's, uh, it's, it, it, it's easy to do what you want with it. Okay, once you have generated your QR code, you need a piece of software to be able to scan it and read it, and so do your students, so your users. This image I've got here on the screen is just an image of the App Store, uh, of specifically the iPhone App Store from Apple, and it shows there are numerous free scanners. Um, and all I've done here is just at this top right, I've just searched for QR code reader, and you can see that we've got quite a few there. Uh, they're all free and easy to use. And um, if you want to do that now, you can pause the video, you can go into the App Store um, and download a free um, scanner for the iPhone. Also, you can do this in, in an Android um, Android store uh, if you've got an Android device. And if you want to do that now, that's great because I'm going to show you a QR code on the next page which you can scan. Right, this is the QR code I generated uh, via the previous screen through the, the website. This QR code scans straight to my blog, edutate.com. So if you want to pause the video now and scan it just to see how it works, feel free to do that and you will see it take you immediately to the blog. And then if you think about the possibilities of that taking you to whichever website you want to take them to, whether it be a website, whether it be YouTube, whether it be a piece of text, you can start to see the possibilities um, of using these in and around your classroom and your school. Okay. Earlier, when I uh, when I thought about doing this presentation, I decided that the best way of generating some ideas was to put a request out on Twitter through my teaching network, and I had some amazing uh, responses within an hour of some uh, crowdsourced ideas of how to use them in your classroom. Now, this may be a point where you want to pause the video and really have a look at in detail about some of these ideas that have come from classrooms around the world um, of how QR codes are being used to engage students. Now, we had to run to two pages because there were so many fantastic ideas. What I will say is that when you're looking at these, you need to think about really how we use QR codes and what are they, what, what are they used for. Well, specifically, I think you need to think about how can we engage our learners? How can we create curious um, and inquisitive learners that, you know, that want to know more about the subject and want to learn independently? Um, if we can create independent and inquisitive learners, then that's half the battle in our classrooms, and some of these uh, some of these ideas here are absolutely brilliant at doing that. So, again, pause the video, have a look around, and see how many of these that you think you can actually use in your classroom and in your school to bring your classroom to life, to make your classroom more digital, and to really spruce up those notice boards. Um, you know, if you can bring your notice boards to life and they can be interactive and they can be digital, then that's brilliant. The students are going to be so much more engaged. Um, than just looking at a picture on a board that's been there for, you know, for three or four months. Well, if you can constantly keep updating them with, uh, you know, with QR codes that link to fresh new digital content on the web, that's going to be brilliant. And I thought I'd leave you with one example. I could have put numerous examples here, but I didn't want this video to run too long. This is one example from um, from my school and the RE department within my school. What you'll see here is that on the um, on the right hand side there are all these pictures here relating to the topics in red on these posters here and then on each one there is a QR code uh, that if you scan one of these codes here 
you will be taken immediately to YouTube uh, and it will play a video of the um, of the topic in which the students can learn some more information uh, and get a better in-depth knowledge about the topic. Um, those um, those videos on, the, on, on those Q QR codes there are actually videos from Newsround, so they're perfect for the um, for the age range um, that the um, that the department are trying to get across to. So there you go. That's it. Hopefully that has inspired you to uh, see about using QR codes in your school. Uh, maybe you've used them so far. Maybe you've got some different ideas now that you, you didn't have before. Um, maybe this is going to be a, a new project for you. But um, you know, bring your classroom to life. Uh, make your classroom digital. And happy scanning. If you want any more information, you can uh, contact me on Twitter at the bottom left, at TeamTate, or at the bottom right via my blog, edutate.com. Okay, thank you very much.